Okay, let me see. We should be live. Yes, we are live in the group with Danny. Danny, how are you, my friend? Hi, Luca. Hi, everyone. I am awesome. Thank you so much for uh, for ha putting this together. And um, hi to everybody watching now or watching in the future. So, uh, yes, because, of course, uh, this video will stay here in the group. So yesterday we had a live, we had a, a launch of a new product. And I, tell, I told the people yesterday, make sure you watch today because we are going to interview Danny um, about the new my invention. Because, you know, mm. we've been doing uh, uh, together uh, my invention for uh, for few years now uh, and the last one we did was live in Pozzuoli uh, mm -hmm. before the earthquake comes just right in time yeah yes uh, yes yeah. uh, and we did good we did uh, it was a different experience but now everything is back to normal um, I'm personally not involved this time in my invention but of course we are you're, you're with us in spirit you're exactly. with us you're a exactly. great friend yeah and uh, we are friends so um uh, of course you know it's my pleasure to let the people know about my invention and also this group the service of this group is to actually let the people know all the news in mentalism and i think that everyone was waiting finally my invention in the states right in the united states mm -hmm. so let's talk about this my invention where it will be who they are, you know, the, the guest, who will be the guest, and much more. All right. So um, the last in-person my invention to happen in the United States was 2019 in Las Vegas. Yes. And that happened, um, and then COVID happened, and then Luke and I got together and we presented virtual my inventions. So what we decided this time I don't live in Las Vegas. A lot of people always thought, oh, you know, I live in Las Vegas. And no, I don't. So I live in Philadelphia. Right now, I am in uh, broadcasting from the Smoke and Mirrors Magic Theater, which is the theater I co-own with my business partner, Marty. And we started talking about maybe we should try my invention somewhere other than Las Vegas. Yeah. What we realized, Las Vegas is obviously it's a great city, but it's a it's a flight to get there for just about everybody, no matter where you're coming from. And the way people live in the United States, the most people live between Boston and Washington, D.C. There's like 70, 80 million people that live right there. Philadelphia is right in the middle. So we decided we're going to have the convention here in Philadelphia. So the dates are going to be November 17, 18 and 19, November. which is a Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So that's the traditional days that we have always um, presented my invention, even in Las Vegas, because Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's much easier to get the headliners, the talent, because the chances that a guy, uh, you know, work. a top performer is going to be working Friday or Saturday, most magic conventions, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So wait, from day one, we always had my inventions Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And it's also a lot of the people that attend my invention are professionals, semi-professionals. So the same thing for them. They might have a gig on Saturday that prevents them from, from coming, but having on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday um, just makes it uh, a little bit easier for um, for everyone to, um, to travel. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we have a, a hotel that's actually going to be about about six miles, uh, maybe it's five miles from where I'm sitting right now is going to be the convention hotel. Yeah. And for people um, that are living here in the States, um, if you're in that zone, you're drivable easily, yeah. but you're also able to easily get there by train. Yeah. So in fact, I remember City. when I, when I performed in your theater, uh, it was quite easy because we, we fly from, hello, Marty, how are you? Hey, Luca, how are you? All good, my friend. Nice to see you. So basically, when we fly from uh, London, I think it wasn't difficult. We just uh, arrived there in the States. We took a train and we and we went there. I mean, it wasn't complicated. So all the people also from Europe, they want to come. I think don't worry, you know, don't get scared because it's quite easy to to reach the place anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. But I suppose this year, you know, because we have doing been doing my invention online and then there was one in Italy we had a lot of people from Europe I suppose this my invention finally for all the people that live in the states they will be the place to go 
Yeah, I, I believe that, you know, people have talked to me previously. When are we going to do it live again? And it was really with, with the COVID, you were just really cautious. And finally, the time is right. Um, we, we put together uh, a really outstanding roster of presenters. And I think it's going to be an outstanding uh, convention because, well, number one, we have Rick Mel. Exactly. And Rick, Rick, to me, I said this, I was talking to someone the other day and I said, Rick is like a spider that sits in the center yeah. of a web. Of the, the web of mentalism. I said, and anywhere something happens, Rick hears about it. Rick knows about it. So Rick and has it's been... Easy, and it's not easy to get him to do things. Huh? It's not easy at all. Oh, well, right, right. Rick is planning, right, because Rick ha has some, you know, serious health issues that most people are aware of. And Rick is planning. The goal is that Rick is going to be here live in person at my invention. We already have a backup plan if a health reason uh, prevents him from being here live. But Rick said his goal is to be here live with us. So Rick is just one of those people that literally knows everybody. He has been he's been you know, we we have given him our lifetime achievement award in a, in a previous convention. And he has just been such an outstanding friend of um, myself and the convention that um, one year I remember Rick was presenting. He was in the show. He was doing that. And I got up and I said, everyone, welcome to Maulvention. <laughs> so, um, so Rick is going to be here and Rick has um, uh, a, a couple of things he's going to be doing. He's going to be presenting his own lecture as well. He's also going to be. So one of the things Rick said to me, and one of the things that we always try to do at my invention is try to find you want to have the acts that people know, like Rick Mao and some of the other well-known presenters that we have. But the thing that I always love is the organizer. And when I'm the attendee, I love when I'm at a convention and there's a guy, I never heard of this guy. Who is this yeah. guy? And he comes out and he's great. That's just such a good feeling. And I saw the first time yeah. that so-and-so. I'm surprised because it's really good. Too. So Rick said to me, I said, I'm going to have someone do a show. He says, I got a guy for you, John Tai, T-A-I. I said, I never heard of John Tuff. You probably never heard of John no, Tuff. I never heard. No. Rick says to me, this is what a mentalism show would be like. He says, let me talk to John. He says, John will do the show. And then John and I will do a panel discussion where we dissect all the decisions, how this happened, how this, did, how this was made, that was made. So I said, without talking to John Ty, without seeing video of John Ty, I said, I'm convinced. So we have a group of theater owners that meet on Zoom and we talk about, we're meeting later today, uh, and we talk about all things about running a magic theater. So we were on the call maybe a couple of months ago and Liberty Magic, Zoe from Liberty Magic, the, the manager of Liberty Magic was there. And we had a low in the conversation and I asked her, you've had a lot of great acts at Liberty Magic. Who were the top three acts that you had at Liberty Magic? And she said, let me think. She goes, well, the first guy, she goes, you never heard of. His name's John Todd. Wow. And I thought, ah, oh. so yeah. I knew Rick. And that's, you know, of all the acts that they've had, and they've had some really good acts. Yeah. So John Ty is someone, and a couple of people have reached out to me and said, I never heard of John Ty. Well, He's going to be, uh, there will be a surprise. I'm curious too. So uh, yeah. there is a question. Tony Hawkins, I, Danny, we will be able to attend online or in person only. This will be only in person. Right. This is going to be only in person, which is the preferred way to do it. You know, um, it's not the same experience. Um, yeah. So this is in person in Philadelphia. But I appreciate the question. Yeah, that's great. So we had we so you are all already revealing some of the, 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 the you know, the presenters. So we have Rick Mauer, John Ty, right? John Ty. John and Ty. then we. And, and, and then we have, we have, I'm going to go over a, a, a couple more. Then we have another person. And again, it might not seem a Garrett Thomas. We're going to have Garrett Thomas. Yeah, well, now, everybody, um, whether you're in mentalism or magic, I'm sure Garrett Thomas has been on your radar or somewhat. He's just absolutely an unbelievable performer. But it seems like an odd choice for a mentalism convention. But once again, John and Rick started talking, and uh, he is just such a deep thinker, Garrett. I have so much um, yeah, I know him very well. uh, respect for him. You know, I um, way back in the day, it was so long ago, I produced 
the very first I at one time I was doing this thing called Magic's Rising Stars, mm -hmm. and it was still videotape. The first one I ever did was with Garrett Thomas, and that's the one that sort of put him, Garrett on the map. So Garrett and I have known each other for a long, long time, and he is one of the few people that when I watch him perform or, or talk about magic or the art, it's just really his his thinking is just so incredible. Also, he is a lot of, you know, he uses a lot of psychology in everything he does. It's really, it's not just a simple trick. He he really dissect every single move he does, every single every single thing he does, and he tells you why. And I exactly, exactly. And there's that. That's one of the reasons he's one of the main consultants and has been for some time for yeah. David Blaine, yeah. because his thinking about um, magic, about mentalism, is just absolutely incredible. And uh, we are really looking forward to having uh, Garrett Thomas here. Will he do a magic trick? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, no, I, magic I, and mentalism can easily blend together. Exactly. Know? He could be like the juggler at a magic convention. If he does a magic trick, exactly. it'll be so unique. Oh my God. <laughs> so we'll have to see. But Garrett is just absolutely uh, phenomenal, a great guy to talk to and hang with. And we're really happy to have him as well. And then there's um, another let's... one, which we have a video now. And oh, I yeah. Actually, let's, let's play the video first. And I, actually, I actually saw the video before. And I'm telling you, all, all of you guys that are watching this video, have a look, because he's going to do something which is really clever that you can actually use as, like, for your right. shows. Exactly. So I'm going, to, I'm going to play the video. Let me go through, uh, through this. So I'm not going to say who it is, okay? You guys watch the video. And I basically, I also, I know that he's also preparing a new book. And I look yeah. forward to this book because I have all these books. So actually, Danny, if you have any news before anyone else, let me know about it. Okay. Uh, okay, you're in. Okay, that's great. Oh, okay. Let's say this is a is a not an MP4, so I cannot play because this is a MOV file. So. Hey, you know, it's not not a problem. We can talk about him I mean, instead. I, I just let me try something. I just uh, change. OK, it. I cannot re-export the file because it will take too long, but I'm just trying to, to do something. And for everybody, as Luke is checking in, the yeah. video is on. Uh, we have a, a web page for my invention on Facebook. So oh, if you okay. in Facebook, if you Google my invention, please join our group if you can, if you're interested. Um, the video is there. The video is also on our website, which is myinvention.net. There's a link that says presenters. If you click there and scroll down to his name, Rick Mao has a video up. He has a, there's several videos up and the video. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let me know if you can hear the audio because I had to. Okay. The screen. Okay, so here we go. Hey, Joshua Quinn here. Earlier this year, when I got booked to do my first ever my invention lecture, I knew I had to put together something special. So to start, I made a list of all the qualities I wanted my lecture to have. First on that list, it had to be engrossing. Nobody likes a boring lecture, so I knew I had to keep mine worthy of your attention from start to finish. Next up, it had to be unusual. This is kind of a thing I'm known for, right? My outside the box approach to plots and presentations and methods. So I knew I had to deliver on that front. But at the same time, I wanted to feature stuff that was commercial, not just clever ideas, but solid workable material that you can use in the real world. My next goal, keep it concise. Nothing drives me crazier than a 60 minute lecture that should have been a 20 minute lecture. So I knew I had to keep mine tight and on point. But most importantly, I knew I had to feature only my most awesome creations with no fillers. That is what it all really comes down to. So now a few months later, I am happy to say I put together a lecture that I honestly believe meets all of these points and I can't wait to share it with you so I hope you'll join me. Oh, and the last thing you need to know is that I've been projecting a thought into your mind this entire time. And that thought is where you need to book your flight to if you wanna see a lecture like this.
It's not Vegas, not this year. So if you know what's up and you know the place to be this November, then I'll see you at Mindvention 2024 in Philly. <laughs> yeah, awesome. That was quite clever. I mean, I, I love that, you know, the, the revelation of the word. Oh, that, that was really, really good. We haven't said his name yet, so let me say his name. That is Joshua Quinn. Joshua. A lot of you, depending upon how long you've been in mentalism, you might name the name Joshua Quinn. He published material a number of years ago, and his material got out to some other big creators, and he was a consultant for a lot of the top performers. Paralyze, paralyze, I think. Yes, yeah. correct. Par and then um, Joshua had attended some of the early of my inventions in Las Vegas, and then for... Uh, reasons I'm not sure of, he dropped out for a number of years. He just did other things. And then the bug came back. He is now back full time. And as Luca mentioned, the, I don't have the release date or any really information on the book. He will have his new book at my invention. I am pretty sure about that. But he is just such an interesting performer, creator, that we are really uh, looking forward to having uh, Joshua present at my invention. That is going to be absolutely awesome. Yeah, I think it will be very exciting. And uh, yeah, and I know a lot of people is waiting his new book. So guys, if you go there, you will have the chance to get it, hopefully, before anyone else. So exactly. can you tell us anything else about the presenter or not? Oh, we yeah, there's there's one there's one more presenter I want to mention, and that is again a great friend of my invention, Eric Samuels oh. from Canada. Uh, Eric's book, Setting the Stage, that came out uh, a couple of years ago, was oh my god, what a um, what a, what a fabulous book. He's a really polished performer. He has a great history. He had a long career in radio before he made the change. And he's going to be lecturing and also doing a, um, a panel discussion on openers. Um, you know, everyone knows that your closer is a very important thing. You want to close the show strong, but your opening effect is equally as important, maybe more so, because now the audience has to say, am I going to give this guy my attention, my respect for the rest of, of the show? Yeah. So we are happy to have, um, and also, right, um, Eric is also going to be, the Smoke and Mirrors Theater, as I mentioned, is just about four miles or so to the yeah. convention hotel. So Eric is going to be performing here at the theater oh, the, wow. the, the evening before on Saturday, um, doing his one-man show here and at the theater. And that's great to see him because he's a working performer, does a lot of shows, corporate shows, so... For mentalists coming there, I think only watching his show is already a great lesson, you know, in theatrics and in performing and stuff. So this is very important, especially when you see a mentalist working with real people and not magician, because, you know, I don't like to, to do perform for magicians, you know, but <laughs> when you perform for the audience, you actually see the, the real wonder, the real, you know, connection that you have with people. And this, I think, it goes beyond any kind of method or or tricks, you know. So Luca, you're absolutely right. There's a world of difference between thinking I went to a convention and I saw the man lecture that you've seen him perform. You have not yes. seen him perform. You've seen him lecture. Yes. Here at the theater, we'll have 60 uh, audiences, our capacity, uh, a layman audience. Obviously, there will be some mentalists and magicians that will purchase tickets as well. But you're going to see Eric do his real show for real people. In fact, what I enjoyed when I performed at your theater there, it was all, most of the time, I will say 99% were all laymen, you know, lay people. Yes. So, and this yeah. is very important because, yeah, it was maybe two magicians again to see the show. But, you know, when you work with the real audience there, you see the experience, you see how the tricks works. And this is very important because maybe you show a trick. I always say, you know, when I show my tricks, sometimes they're very simple in method, but they are not magician foolers. And they say, oh, well, OK, but, you know, I'm not being fooled by that. But you don't need to see this. You need to see the actual working on the audience. And when you see how the audience react to the, the, the trick, then you will understand the real power of the trick. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important to actually see that tricks working, you know, doing on real people. Because again, you know, 
some of the methods also uh, Eric use are classic methods we all know but when you apply them on a real audience and when you do you perform to real audience everything change and then you can see how really works something so i think this is a very good idea uh i think this should be done in all the the the, the convention yeah <laughs> yeah but not everywhere are you able to do it but luckily we're able to do it here we have a couple other guys but we haven't even put them up on the website yet, but I will release just one more name. It's not on the website, but Mark Striving, who was recently oh. uh, got a special award from the, uh, the, the PEA convention, and Mark will be here and uh, present it, presenting as well. So there'll be a couple of more editions that will be going up in the next week or two. You can find out all about it by joining our Facebook group, uh, My Invention on Facebook, and we also have our website, uh, mindvention.net where we have Joshua Quinn's video is up as well as videos from Rick Mal and um, there's another another video up there as well yeah I have passed everything now it's on top of our head there is a link and of course this video will stay in in the group but we haven't said the most important things the people is waiting how much it is Ah, the price to register for my invention, we kept the price the same as pre-COVID. It's $375, oh. okay. which is a pretty good registration for price. There is room still available. If you are interested, the thing about my invention, it's not, you don't have to be top mentalist. You don't have to be a professional mentalist. You don't have to be, I do a little mentalist. You can be a, a performer that's saying, I don't know too much about mentalists. You are welcome. Everybody is very chilled out relax you can the, the, the performers are very approachable it's a great place no matter where you are on the ladder of mentalism no where where no matter if you're at the top you're starting my invention is still a great place for you to come share and learn yeah but also it's a nice place to hang out with friends and talk about things you know and mentalism and stuff so it's it's really nice. I remember. Well, that's the uh, difference. The difference, Luke, between at a magic invention, the guys are all doing this at the metals and convention, they're having coffee in the coffee shop and just talking about ideas. And, and, exactly. and oh, they don't even talk. They just read each other's minds. Uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's even better. That's even better. So there is no much uh, talking. Yeah. About. Yeah. So it's going to be a great time, November 17th, 18th, 19th, here in Philadelphia. We have. Uh, the hotel's great. There's some great food choices around the hotel for the people that are able to make it. It's going to be um, unbelievable. We're not downtown Philly. Downtown Philly, there's a little crime and, and stuff like that. We're in the suburbs. It's a safe, great place. The hotel is being totally remodeled. So um, if it's within your uh, ability to come, uh, we look forward to seeing you at my invention. Yeah. And again, all the people also in Europe, I personally be there. I've been there and it wasn't complicated to go. As you say, uh, the place is, is great. You know, there is no danger around. So you can easily go. Also, honestly, most of the time you will be there with all your friends and stuff. You know, so you basically go back, you go out from the convention place just to go to sleep if you go to sleep that's the only thing so uh at the end of the day you know you will have a uh three days of fun and and uh, and a lot of news will happen there because as always my invention is the place where all the people uh, you know release their news and uh and also you will be able to to get all the new releases from uh, uh performance in fact i think also, Eric, he just released his new psychometry uh, act uh, routine. Eric's right, got that. He's got a new table coming out. I forgot to mention we're gonna. Yeah. There will be a dealer's room, so all the latest um, uh, props and devices that you would be interested in, you'll be able to check them yeah. out and live. I suppose there will be also some special convention prize. So if you're there, you know you will be able to get and to look, also to check with your hands what what the prop sees you know because sometimes we see things online but we would like to see it so exactly. and I'm actually getting very soon the the psychometry uh, routine from eric which i'm going to review and i can't wait because i know it's really really clever uh mm. so guys what i can say uh have a look again go on the mindmention.net is the website where you can get uh the the tickets and everything else have a look all the videos the presenter new addition are coming so oh, no, the third sold out. Uh, how many places uh, are available? Because I know there is a limited number, I suppose. 
You know, we have never hit the limit on my invention, so I think we are okay at this point. I'm not I'm not concerned about that. If you're interested in the convention, it, as long as the registration window is up, that means we'll, we have room for you. Okay, that's great. So what can I say? Do you want anything else to add, Namni? Yeah, I'd like to add thank you to Luca for all you do for the art of mentalism, for running this group, for being the kind of performer you are. You've just been such a boon. And I will not be happy until I have you back here in America at my invention, either in, because next year we're going to go back to Las Vegas and right. Philly. We're going to switch between the two. So my goal is to get uh, oh, Luca Volpe. That we have another vacation planned with my wife soon. We're going to work it out moving forward sometime, <laughs> somewhere. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everyone. And, of course, Danny, we will do another live more closer to, uh, to you know, to, to my invention. So to recap a little bit everything. To And also, if you have any addition, guys, please go on the uh, group, my invention group on Facebook. And you can see all the news there, which is better, you know, because you actually see everything as soon as it goes out. And of course, because this is a mentalism group and also on mentalism news, you're going to see all the news about my invention. So thank you everyone for watching and see you soon. Ciao. Ciao. Wait a second. Yeah, I think. Yes. Are you still there? Yes, still oh. there. All right, yeah. I think I think it yeah, went we well. We had about twenty-five people connected, so I'm sure okay. the video there will be there will be more people watching it.